Well, good morning. It's a sunny-ish Thursday, the 3rd of June. And uh, I just picked up a passage just to read, which was 2 Timothy chapter 4, the first five verses. It says, In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, be persistent, whether the time is favourable or unfavourable, convince, rebuke and encourage with the utmost patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves, teach us to suit their own desires, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, carry out your ministry fully. And Nelson's study Bible tells us that Paul's charge to Timothy is to preach the word. The foundation of any ministry is God's word. Preaching God's truth is sacred and a demanding task, requiring perseverance and courage. It means being ready to take a stand. So, in my thoughts, are you itching to serve Jesus? An itch that will not go away. That's how I found my call to ministry. A constant, nicely nagging feeling that just needed to be fulfilled. I'm so pleased that I responded to the itch and realised that I must share this desire with others. The words of the song, I the Lord of Sea and Sky, have always stirred my soul, particularly the chorus. Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. And he gives me shivers every time I read it. And I've always, I'll say in my head, changed the first line of the chorus to, Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. So let's pray. Lord, may our souls itch to serve you. Let your Holy Spirit overflow our hearts and fill the world with your grace. May we be there for each other in peace. Amen. God bless.